Yo, yo, what up, though? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Shri Coder Nate. And we have finally got to pretty much the last video in this series, this first series on going through the development process. And where we at right now is step number seven, deploy the code. So what is deploying code? If you're an author and you're writing a book or whatnot, when you get done writing that book and you want other people to see it, you publish your book. Well, that's the same thing with code. We write our code locally, and when we want people to see it, we deploy it to uh, servers in the world. And so we're, that's what we're going to do is deploy it to different servers. And you could choose any server. You probably heard of AWS. You probably heard of Azure. You probably heard of uh, Google Cloud Providers and all of that, or Cloud Service Providers, uh, Heroku, all of those other things, Netlify. These are, these are different companies that bought up a whole bunch of computers called servers that allow you to put your code on their servers and that connects you to the rest of the world. And they call these computers, the cloud and all this other stuff, but honestly it's just computers connected together that companies own and we ask them for space on those computers. That's all that cloud is for real, for real. And so what we're gonna do is push our code to a cloud and the cloud that we're gonna push it to is the Heroku cloud because it's just free and it's dope. So let's tap in with Heroku and figure out how to do that. All right, so we're going to hop over here, and we got Heroku CLI. And so what I want y'all to do is download the Heroku, download and install the Heroku CLI. And so uh, the CLI is the command line interface. Uh, basically, uh, when I'm using the terminal, where is that? When I'm using the terminal down here, this uh, it will allow you to write commands in this little black box down down there right there that little black box right there so uh, we want to download and install this so if you got a Mac you can go ahead and just hit the brew install real quick PC 64-bit uh, and if you want uh, Linux go ahead and hit that one right there cool so after you run those run the installer for Windows and then this is automatically going to run the installer and that's going to run the installer too I already have it so what should you expect when you when you finally have it done is uh, we come here now, we want to deploy. So now that we have Heroku CLI, we're going to use Heroku to actually deploy our code. So we're going to say the first thing we need to do is do a Heroku login real quick. Heroku login. Heroku command not found. I guess I actually didn't have Heroku. So I guess I can do it with y'all. All right, and that's gonna install Heroku. Hopefully that don't take too long. If it does, I'm gonna just pause the video. Let's see. Updating homebrew. You know when it's updating the, the package manager, it might take a minute. Let's see, downloading. I might just end up pausing y'all. I'll be back. Finally got it installed over here. We good. Got our Heroku installed. Now what we want to do is run that same command that I was telling y'all to do before, which was the Heroku login command. All right. So we got Heroku login. Be forgetting I'm all the way up front. Come on. Heroku login. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Got to get the desk right. All right. So hit that Heroku login. Enter. Come on, Siri, you gotta stop doing that. I'm recording, dog. All right, warning our team, yada, yada. Press any key to open a browser. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna log me in, log in uh, to my Heroku account. Continue. All right, register a verification. Can I just cancel? Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, that was dope. I didn't know I could do that. All right, so I'm logged in. We are good. All right, cool. Logged in as Nate Baker 2427. We moving. Bet. So now that was, we, 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 I'm logged in. Let's move on to the next situation. Uh, got my credentials. Heroku create. This is going to uh, create me uh, a, a repository, a remote uh, Heroku repository on my local system so if I say get remote I should yep have a 
you see I got my GitHub remote and then I also have my Heroku remote right there. All right, cool. And my Heroku remote is pointing to this little server right there. Or that's the Git, my bad. My Heroku remote is pointing to this server over here. Cool, and this is the, the actual package for the Git. Cool, cool, cool. So now that we got the create, we can go ahead and push to the main. And that's as simple as that. It literally push to the main. And let's see what happens. Installing the dependency. So right now what it's doing is actually like building Node.js. It's building my Node.js code on its server. And so let's uh, patiently watch. Okay, build succeed. You always gotta wait for the build succeed part. <laughs> That's the scary part. Okay, so we got the build to succeed. Now we just gotta wait for the URL to come out. And bam, the URL right here. It says uh, deploy it to Heroku. If you're looking right, right there, deploy it to Heroku. Uh, verifying the deployment right here. And then got a new branch, so we is it's 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 all on Heroku. We can go check it out. Let's go check it out. Now let's go check it out. Let's see what happens. It's still loading. Ah, scary. Come on. It's just a simple React app. You shouldn't take that long. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I think I know what it is. Um, it's looking for port 3000 on our code. That's what it is. It's looking for port 3000 and we need it to actually not say port 3000. We need it to say whatever the port that Heroku is gonna give us. Uh, so we gonna come over to, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? It's in our server. I forgot all about that. And what was I do? I did port right here. Oh no, I ended up with the right port, so it should be whatever port that it comes up on. Okay, let's see what happens. We need to run the logs. Something crashed. Let's see. And this is deploying for y'all. <laughs> uh, there's a joke that said, "Don't deploy code on a Friday night." Literally, be a bar if you got something to do. Let's see, error. Let's see what happened. Let's see what happened. So, build succeed. That's good. Then, starting process with npm start. Cool. npm error. What was the error? Exit one failed at express mongo. This is probably yada yada. Come on, what happened? State change from starting to crashed. Tell me what happened though. Uh, process. Why did we crash? Ooh, <laughs> we crashed because we tried to connect to a database. That's why. All right. Uh, let me see. A uh, local database at that. Um, so we don't need to connect to a database. So let's take that code out of there. Connect to database. And we can take connect to database off right here as well. And right there. Cool. So now we're just listening on our app. And anywhere else that we use the database? Yeah, I don't think we need it. Okay. So now I'm going to have to do... Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. We go here and quit that. What was that? Uh, control C? Yeah, okay. So... What we're gonna have to do is do another get add, so or get status, because I just changed some stuff. So now I do get add, and this is gonna add it for both the, um, for both my Heroku and my GitHub. Um, it's gonna add. So when I make a commit, it's making a commit for the project, and then I can push it to Heroku or I can push it to GitHub. I'm gonna push it to Heroku first, and then I end up pushing to GitHub when everything all good. Uh, dash a, get commit. Uh, dash M, remove the uh, database startup.
And you know what? Actually, I need to go ahead and go to the landing real quick because I know it's some database code in the landing. Yep, this one. Didn't use it. And so, status, go add, and then remove database code from, I'll say from the landing. All right, cool. And then we can do git push. Uh, what was it? Good push Heroku. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, git push Heroku main. Yep, git push Heroku main. Bet. All right, here we go. Starting to build again. All right, so last time it actually built, so that was good. It just, when the app started, it crashed because it tried to connect to a local database. So now the app should be able to start up. And I said, I said it should, but low key, if we come over here um, to the Node.js app, yep, it started up correctly. Oh, and also what you see is that it's only serving, it's serving our original React. So we're gonna have to do a build, uh, a local build actually. So what we're actually deploying is, we're deploying a, uh, we're deploying the build from like the, the first time we built and I was giving you all that example. So we actually gonna have to do another build afterwards. But first let's 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 see what's going on over here. And it said that it was successful. Um yes or no. Build building succeeded. Cool. So let's go check it out now. Let's see if I can actually connect to my app. Oh, let's get it. All right, so that's our app right here. Is the that's just the Node.js app, but look at the uh, or that's just the React application, the original one. But look at the URL right here. Uh, let's see. You see, it says whatever the fuck that say, enigmatic waters, whatever. They just give you a reg oh a random domain name. But cool, but like we could use anybody could use that domain name now and that that will be there. So that's that's honestly dope. So now all we gotta do is just build our uh develop code. We gotta build that code once again with um we got a CD into the front end, build that code, and then uh build again. All right, and then do that whole like uh git commit and then push it and then it will do the Heroku build for us. So we gotta do we got to figure out where we are first. We in Insta Scraper, so we're going to CD into where are we CD into? We CD into uh, not Insta Scraper, front end. We CD into the front end. We LS. Cool. All right. And now that we're in the front end, we can run npm run build. And this is going to take that build of the develop code on the front end and make. Uh, make the server be able to serve that on the back end now. So then when we deploy our server, it's actually deploying the, the actual server code. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So now we do a get status and you see all those build and deleted and whatnot. So we're gonna do a get add dash A and then we do a get commit uh, dash M um, created new build for new production build. That's what it's called, new production build. Ready to deploy to Heroku. Dope. Then we do it to get push Heroku main. I know that looks similar. Before we was doing git push GitHub main. But this time we're doing git push Heroku main. Heroku is our, our remote. And GitHub is also a remote as well. So we say whatever the remote host is and then the, the branch that we actually want to push it to. All right, here we go. This one got some building building to do. Let's see. Actually, I ain't got that much building now. Think about it. It's the Node.js. We already did the, the big building with the React. All right, let's see. We almost there. We almost there. Let's see, installing dependencies. I swear I'd be at work and I'd be watching these. I'd be like, please, 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 please. Oh, uh, shit, that should be, 
nerve wracking for real, for real. Nah, I'm telling y'all, y'all ever just cold up a whole bunch of stuff and then like for two weeks you figuring out a pull request? That was me. Yeah. But it, it, it's worth it in the end. It's real dope. Okay. And let's see what happens. Our app. Did it crash? Uh, it's crashing. No, it didn't crash. Let's go. It showed up. Our application is on the web. Let's go. Okay. Let's make sure that it works. Street Coder Nate. Bang. And our post show up. Oh, the post show up too. Hey, we are on the web right here in the post show up. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and see if I can pull this up on my phone. Let me see. I'm come down here to my messages. Please don't open over there. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, Nate. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. So now I'm gonna pull it up on my phone. Let's see what this website look like. I can't lie to y'all. Look, right here on my phone, this boy fire too. That thing fire, this is the website. This is the website on my phone. Let's go, all right. And now that's on my phone. Let me go street coder, Nate, right? Press send. Press the send button and look what came up. We got some posts. Hey, we just created a whole Instagram scraper, put it online, put it on the web. We eating. My bad for the green screen in the background. But yo, we's eating, we's eating, we's eating. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We just created our first application on this. Um, on my channel like and we got a whole bunch more to go this one was a little rough uh, getting the tweaks in between and whatnot but we finally got through it i'm excited dog we got an app out here y'all can tweak this app put some colors on it add some background images do some fonts or whatnot this is just the bare bones right here go ahead and figure out more things from the data to add on your card switch the card around play around with material ui you got a lot of things to play around with with this application i'm just giving y'all the start of the application but from there you can go and figure out whatever you want to develop or clean it up however you want to clean it up i can go many places with this like if somebody gave me this set um add some custom stuff to it i go so i go so many places so um i hope y'all do too uh let me know or shoot if y'all end up customizing it shoot drop me a github link to to y'all github repository i'll definitely check them out and uh give y'all my, my reviews if especially if y'all want me to review it on my channel i love to pull up y'all apps and tell y'all what's up from a from a ux ui per, uh, person who works at microsoft and that's many many applications and that also knows how the back end is connected i'm actually more of a back end developer than a ui ux developer i just like ui ux because most back end developers hate it and i'm like oh you hate it i love it now i'm dope okay and then back end is just dope too because that's where i started so that's like that's the pro but here we go so if y'all want to submit some sites to me please do but we're gonna come back i think the next um the next tutorial will cover um what's the word called neuro uh neural nets where i'm trying to do something dope with some neural nets get some uh, real-time processing uh some data uh text images or somehow we're gonna get some fun apis out here and create some dope apps um it's gonna be less teaching and it's gonna be more me hacking away and y'all watching me hack away almost like a code with nate in a way but i felt like i needed to explain some things in this one there you go i'll see y'all in the next video deuces